Welcome back to the channel and a new video. This time we are looking at how to use the Litchi website and Litchi app to plan a waypoint mission. In the next video we will fly the mission we create in this one. Litchi is an Android and iOS app for phones and tablets that allows you to autonomously control the DJI drones shown on the screen. The Android version now controls the Mini 2, Mini SE and Air 2S and hopefully this will be coming soon for iOS. You can either create missions in the app or as we're doing here using the website on an iMac running Mac OS Monterey. Firstly go to the website, the web address is in the description and if you have one log in to your account that you signed up to the app with. Once signed in go to the mission hub. If prompted allow the website to use your location if you don't want it to, it's fine, you don't have to. The hub will then open, showing you a map of your local area, or the world if you decline permission for the app to know where you are. For this example, we're going to create a waypoint mission to fly over the remains of the lower loop at Brooklyn's racetrack. Use the search box at the top of the screen to find the area. Once it has been located, you can change the zoom and the position of the map as you desire. Before we plot the waypoints, we need to choose the parameters for our mission. Click the settings icon at the bottom of the page. In the settings, you can choose how you want the drone to behave. For this mission, we want the drone to face the direction of the waypoints, so select the heading mode, Auto TNW. We want the drone to return to home when finished, so click RTH in the Finish Action section. You can choose if you want the drone to fly straight or curve turns, we are using curves in this mission as the track is on a bend. Choose your cruising and maximum speeds. I tend to leave these as they are set. For this flight we are recording video, so there is no need to select the photo capture interval. However, if you are 3D mapping, this will be where it could be done. Finally, choose your curve radius side and ensure the default gimbal pitch mode is set to disabled. Now we can start to plot the waypoints. Near to my takeoff point, I have dropped waypoint 1 by clicking on the map. You will see a box appear which has the settings for the waypoint. I want to fly this mission at 60 meters, so I can change it here which will set all future waypoints at 60 meters. I can leave the other parameters alone as we set these previously in the first section. However, I do want the drone to perform some actions here before it moves on to waypoint 2. To do this, click the plus icon at the bottom of the settings window. The first action I want is that the drone waits for 2 seconds. I then want the gimbal or camera tilted to minus 30 degrees. And finally for the drone to start recording video. Now this is done, we can start to add the next waypoints by clicking the various points on the map. You can drag and zoom the map around as you require. As you place the waypoints you will see a blue line of the actual flight path of the drone showing on the map. You can adjust the waypoints to move this path around by simply clicking and holding on the waypoint and then dragging them to the desired points. When I reach the end of the lower loop, this waypoint is the end of the planned mission. At this point, I also want the drone to complete some specific actions. Again, click the plus icon at the bottom of the screen and select the actions to be performed. In this case, wait for three seconds and stop recording video. We have now finished planning the mission, so we need to save it. Click the missions icon at the bottom of the screen and select save. Give your mission a name and click save. Looking at the top of the screen, we can see we now have an 18 waypoint mission called Brooklyn's Lower Loop, which will take seven minutes to fly and is 2.4 kilometers long. This is it for the website. Moving on to an iPad, we can now use the Litchi app. Open Litchi and make sure that it's in the waypoint mode in the top left hand corner. Then click the folder icon. Select the Brooklyn's lower loop mission we just created and click load. The mission will now open and you can see we have the same 18 waypoint mission as we created on the website. To review each waypoint and the selected actions, click them on the screen and the settings window opens. You can see here on waypoint one, the height is 60 meters and you can also see the actions we set for the drone to do before moving on are here. To review each waypoint, click the right arrow to move through the other 17 until you get to waypoint 18. You will notice that the map behind will move to focus on the waypoint location 
each time. When we get to waypoint 18, you can again see the actions we have programmed the drone to do before returning home. I hope you found this first video useful. I hope to fly this mission and some others very soon, so please subscribe to the channel to be the first to be alerted when they go live. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.